All right, here we're going to look at finding a particular solution of a differential equation. And all we have to do in this case is just uh, basically first, you know, find a solution to the differential equation. Um, and we'll, we'll, when we integrate, we'll pick up our generic constant c. And all the y of 0 equals negative 1, that's just going to be an initial condition that we have to satisfy. So dy over dx, um, that equals cosine x. Well, again, we could, uh, you know, separate things out here. So you could think about the left side as being 1 dy equals cosine x times dx. Again, uh, you can immediately integrate both sides. The antiderivative of the left side, uh, the antiderivative of 1 dy is just going to be y. The antiderivative of cosine x is going to be sine x plus c. And this is where we use our initial condition, y of 0 equals negative 1. Uh, this notation, I don't know, used to bother me. So again, the stuff next to the y, that represents your x value. The stuff you're getting out, obviously, uh, was gonna go to, going to represent the y value. Um, I don't know, I used to always want to plug this in for y. So be careful about that. Maybe you're not as, uh, as uh, prone to bad mistakes as I am. So uh, our y value is going to be negative 1. We'll get sine of, well, 0. Sine of 0 is 0. So we're left with our c value of negative 1. So therefore, we would take our uh, general solution, and our particular solution would be y equals sine x plus c, which is going to be negative 1. And now we've got our particular solution.